Uh, so a lot of us have been running into a problem where uh, Hyper-V is enabled in Windows 10, and it's uh, causing a problem with our Android virtual machines. So uh, Hyper-V is a, a native hypervisor. It's capable of creating virtual machines in Windows. In Windows 8, Hyper-V became the de facto virtualization solution in place of Windows Virtual PC. Uh, and it seems like Hyper-V is enabled in a, by a Windows 10 update. Uh, and it also, it seems to interfere with Intel's Hardware Acceleration Execution Manager, or Intel's Haxum. Uh, and again, hand, Android virtual devices use Haxum. It speeds up the Android emulation in a Windows environment. So if you've received this message, uh, where it says the computer meets the requirements for Haxum, but Intel virtualization is not turned on, uh, we'll need to disable Hyper-V, and then make sure that you have the Intel x86 emulator accelerator, or Intel's Haxum, installed in Android. Now you might also see this uh, output in your run. In, in your run output it says, please ensure Intel Haxm is properly installed. Okay, so first let's go to the Windows search button and we'll search on Hyper-V, Hyper-V. And we do that, you'll notice that turn Windows features on and off comes up. And um, by default, you might notice that Hyper-V is turned on. So what we want to do is come in here and just uncheck all of these Hyper-V options. After you click OK to disable Hyper-V or turn off Hyper-V and click OK, it'll ask you to restart Windows. You want to go ahead and restart Windows. Then you're going to come into Android and let's take a look at uh, our SDK manager and see what's installed on our machine. And you want to click on, uh, next to SDK platforms, you want to click on SDK tools. And towards the bottom, you'll notice an option for Intel x86 Emulator Accelerator, Haxum Installer. And you want to go ahead and check that uh, and apply it. It'll download and install uh, the Haxum in uh, Installer for you, run the Haxum Installer for you. Now that should, fix, uh, that should fix the problem if you're getting that output again that says Haxum needs to be installed. So uh, remember, go ahead and disable all of the Hyper-V options or turn off all the Hyper-V options and then make sure that Haxum is installed. Thanks.